Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today I'm gonna to be giving you a quick introduction to Core Jam from Audio Modern. This is the newest one in their sort of string of plugins that are meant to be generative. Meaning I'm gonna press one key on my keyboard and I'm gonna get an entire chord. But not only that, Core Jam has a built-in sequencer which can also be randomized. Lots of cool features to get through. So let's go ahead and get into it. Inside of Ableton Live here, I've got Core Jam on one channel and the instrument I want to trigger via Core Jam. And this can be anything. I'm just using a grand piano instrument. So what I want to do is where it says all ins here, I want to go to Core Jam and then on the second drop down, Core Jam as well and make sure it's set to in. And then I want to arm Core Jam. And if I press a key on my keyboard now, I'm actually getting a C minor 11th. Cool, huh? So that's the very basics. We can come over here and choose the chord that we want. Let's go G, and then we can choose the scale. I'm gonna stay in minor. We can also choose the octave. So if I wanna go down or up, I'm gonna keep it in the middle. And then we can also choose the chord type, and there are a lot of different ones to choose from. That's just where the fun begins. Let's say I want to have that first note in the chord drop down an octave. If I click right here and do that, isn't that cool? And I can also push this higher one up an octave. And that's just a very quick way to go ahead and begin to expand the chords and how they feel. There's also the velocity over here. So if I move this, What's gonna happen is the velocity is going to be triggered somewhere in between these two values. And if I press right here, that will happen. But let's just say, you know, I really am looking for a human feel and the, a human wouldn't press it the same velocity on each note every time. What I can do is click this infinity button and now every time I trigger a new chord, that will be updated again within the range of set. And we obviously we can go very extreme. Or we can really dial it in. Let's say we want to play really soft. All right, I'm going to keep it around midway. And we can also do the same thing with timing over here. I can make a strumming effect by pulling over the timing like this. which is really, really cool, sounds great. Or if I wanna get a humanizing feel, I can take the two timings and pull them down quite far, close to the edge there, and now activate that infinity, which means it's just gonna randomize each and every time I press a new key. And already, I'm in love with the plugin. It's doing exactly what I want, it's doing it very easily, and the results are Awesome, and I'm only using it on a grand piano right now. Imagine once I put it on a synth patch. Now, as I said, the fun doesn't stop there because we also have a sequencer down here. So instead of me pressing my keyboard, I can just draw in some chords down here. And if I do it like this, something like this, I'm gonna have four chords. And the way to update these chords is if I click this and then press the key on my keyboard that I want it to be. And now if I press play inside of my DAW, isn't that sweet? But as I was saying before, this can actually all be randomized. If I unclick those, I can hit the random button here. And if I come in here to, let's say something like EDM one, boom. These have been updated. Now it's updated it with random chords, but it's the random chords that I've selected here. So I have all the different chords at my disposal with all the parameters I've set up here at the top and I can easily deactivate them and activate, you know, whichever ones I want. And as I'm doing this, you'll actually see if you're paying attention that these are being updated down here at the bottom.
Now, another really cool feature, and one of my favorite features of, say, Riffer, for example, is this infinity control. If I turn this on, after it cycles through once and we have control over the number here, it will actually automatically update. So you can hear that the chords are getting updated every time it cycles through the sequence one time. And we can change that to four if we wanted to. Let's check out another groove over here. Let's check out future one. So that's essentially the basics here. So now that I have that, I can either leave the two as they are with a chain inside of Ableton Live, or I can drag and drop the MIDI right inside of the DAW and then put my instrument there and go from there. It is a really fantastic tool that really opens up what you can do with just a single note and even has those baked in grooves, which you can make your own obviously. And really the sky's the limit in terms of creativity. What I find myself using it for the most is definitely the chord creation up here and how easy it is to get really lush and intricate chords that sound great at the press of one key at a time. Now this is only scratching the surface of what's possible with Chord Jam. I do have another video coming up very soon where I use Chord Jam, Riffer, and Playbeat all together to make a track just by using the automated properties of each one of those plugins. And it's actually really, really cool. But I did want to give you a sort of run through of Core Jam as it's brand new and it's available already on pluginboutique.com. As usual, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.